Next we're pulling out this. Alright, so we are going to cut this line here. That should bring it down past the curve so that way it's on this flat part. Alright, you can see we cut both. Something like that. Let's go ahead and weld this. Just cleaned it up. All tacked up. Now we're going to weld it. Mapping out the doors. This one is for um, cooking food. This one is for adding wood. Try to shave these welds down. So that way we can put seals in. So we've gone ahead and done. Shave down this weld. Smooth. Insides too. This is a lip. Only about two inches in. So that way, when I put a seal, it'll be flat. Alright, so I'm just going ahead and tacking a lip. And do all four like this and cut it as we go. Alright guys, so I don't want to get too too ahead of myself here. I already know you guys missed all this. So I'll bring you guys up to speed really quick because I had a little bit of time in the day and I wanted to get a few things done while I had a minute and I knew I couldn't film and do it at the same time in the amount of time I had so I'll catch you guys up real quick. As you can see, basically what I've done is for this bar here, for the uh, seal, right, you got the seals on. And right on the top and the bottom here. So there's four of them. Uh, I had a piece of, uh, you know, similar to 
similar to this, but with this side up as well. It was, you know, it, it had the flange on this side too, so it looked like a, like this. So what I went ahead and did is I cut off this, cut off this, and I was left with this bar basically. So you guys can see it was cut. I cleaned it up though because it's a nice thickness and it bends a little bit. So it's perfect for a seal. So this is actually what I used uh, after it was all cut. But this piece was like twice as long. So then what I went ahead and did is uh, I just laid them up um, and tacked them all like this for the seal. Uh, with this, this is still hot, so with it, you know, just laying on the ground, I I tacked it all here. And uh, similar for the inside, these ones are stainless though. Not that there's any reason. I just had spare pieces, and they're they're actually thicker than they're actually thicker than uh, this one. Not by much though, but. So right, so it's another one in there, and uh, I don't know if you guys could see, that's just blind tacked. So just you know, strong tacks, but very hard to see when you're doing it. Did those same for the bottom. These ones are actually a little bit thinner than the top. Again, just scrap pieces I had. So that basically did the doors. So there's. The seal's one, two, three, four. So that covers each side for the seal. So now that would, that makes it fully sealable. This door is not bent, even though it looks like it. This piece was cut, um, not straight, but it doesn't need to be straight because the seals make up for whatever, uh, whatever you're off on the cutting. Right, so that makes sense. Okay, so that's the doors out of the way. Um, after that, I put in the locks. So I just went and bought these. You guys could see right here. Ever built these are zinc coated. Doesn't really matter, they're on the outside. They'll burn off eventually anyway. So I just quickly slapped those in there. Some heavy duty tacks. Nice, nice lock. I'm pretty sure I showed you Guys, these were all laid out to be cut. So, I cut them all off of one. And I just put a tack in the, the ends to hold the spine in. And just quickly ground it down. And I was able to get like six or seven hinges off of one large one. So, that's what I did there. We've got two here. One, two. And we've got three down here. One, two, three. So, oops, that's hot. So literally just like I said, held it, tacked them in. Hinges are done. Strong, heavy tacks. Went back and re, uh, reinforced it later. Um, this one looks kind of funny. I didn't realize that it would actually be that lopsided, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't change the, ouch, it's hot. Doesn't change the functionality of it. It actually is nice and tight. It's a nice tight seal. And uh, I kind of like it when they're actually a little bit tighter. Right, you can see this one's a little bit tighter than this one up here. This one just, boom, slaps in. You know, no hesit he hesitancy. But I like it when it's a little tighter like this one. Anyway. So all that works fine. After that, I went ahead and uh, if you guys could see up in here, basically I just slapped the piece of channel. Where is it? This stuff. This is just a piece of stainless I had lying around. Again, it doesn't matter if it's stainless because I'm just flux core welding it. So it's not like it's not gonna rust, it will. On the welds anyway. So that's tacked in back there. Uh, as you guys remember, I had that piece of barbecue grill there. I just quickly cut that section off that's on the ground. Slapped it in here. And then you have your cooking grill. That's what that is. 
So this is, oops, hard to use one hand. So you guys could see, I just quickly slapped those tacks in there. Again, these are pieces of stainless, but uh, really doesn't need to be. And they're welded underneath, underneath the plates too. So these two tacks are not really where it's welded. It's welded from under here. So those are nice and strong. So that takes care of this removable grill. How do I get that in there? There we go. So that's a removable grill. Just sitting in there. Uh, I just quickly did this not too long ago. Uh, I just attached these together because I figure if you put the wood on here, it gives it a little bit more air, or you could just remove it, take it right out if you want the dish to be deeper. But if you need assistance, you can always use the the, the block there. Get a light on there for you guys. Yeah, so you could always use that if you needed to. But totally not needed. Last but not least, I said these are still kind of hot. I just slapped these. I just slapped these two handles on here, and th all those are from is uh, my old press here, the drill press. I just unscrewed the, uh, you know, the part where you turn it. There's three of them, so, uh, oh, here's the other one. So you guys could see it would have been like that. And I just cut those in half. I, just, I like to metal off those. Just slap them in here for some. Yeah, they're cooler now. Slap them in there for some nice handles. Uh, again, not finished. Still sharp. Everything's still kind of sharp, but it's totally raw. I haven't cleaned anything up. Actually, to add to the video, I just found this chain. It's just a short one. And before I actually start cleaning up here, just gonna slap it in the back here. And that way you could just pick it up a little bit easier. Yeah, so there it is. Threw that on there. Alright, should I just cut all those? Now I'm just doing the holes. I'm going to do three pipes. And I'll show you when it's done. I forgot to show you guys, I had four of these legs for added stability. Now it's paint time. 